The national chairman of the Liberal Party, Julius Aburi, has condemned the 160 million naira official vehicle being awarded to each of the 360 members of the House of Representatives. While urging his party lawmakers to reject the gift, Aburi described the action as a height of insensitivity. He gave the charge in a statement issued in Abuja on Tuesday. The condemnation is coming in the wake of a report that members of the Senate and House of Representatives have started receiving a gift of a new 23 SUV each. In the last two days, the media has been awash with the news of National Assembly leadership planning to procure 109 Toyota Land Cruisers for senators and 23 Toyota Prado for 360 members of the House of Representatives. But Aburi disclosed that the Liberal Party was saddened and disappointed at the level of insensitivity being displayed by the executive and the legislative arms in President Bola Tinubu's administration. Reacting to the development, Aburi said, We are calling on Labour Party legislators in the 10th Assembly to kick against this unnecessary wastage of resources in line with the ideology of the party, which is social justice and equal opportunity. Nigerians will hold them responsible if they fail to live above a board or give proper account of the electoral investment reposed in them. The poor must be allowed to breathe again in this country. It is saddening that with deepening poverty among Nigerians, the administration has decided to increase its appetite for a life of opulence to mock hardworking but underprivileged Nigerians. How else can any government justify the bloated Federal Executive Council of 48 cabinet ministers, with each of them giving three luxury four-wheel drive vehicles on the first day in office, paid and fueled by taxpayers' money? This is notwithstanding hundreds of presidential and ministerial aides, as well as numerous aides to the aides who are being funded by the government. These vehicles will be costing Nigerians about 57.6 billion naira, and this is happening at a time when the government claims it cannot afford to increase the minimum wage of 30,000 naira monthly to workers. As things stand today, inflation is likely to hit 30% by December 23, yet all they are concerned about is the effort and comfort of a privileged few who found themselves in public office.